We've seen white supremacist attacks that were clearly domestic terrorism. Experts, in fact, um, the acting AG, Jeff Sessions, even called some of these incidents domestic terrorism is an incidents. The Emanuel AME Church shooting of black Americans in Charleston and the Tree of Life synagogue shooting in Pittsburgh of, of Jewish people, that those were only designated and charged as hate crimes, not domestic terrorist incidents. Uh, Mr. McGarity, why did the FBI not believe that these incidents were domestic terrorist incidents? That's not correct. I don't know who told you that we didn't, but we certainly had cases open on them mm -hmm. uh, in both those cases. But the actual charge, was, it, was the actual charge domestic terrorism? You're not going to find an actual charge of domestic terrorism out there. If you look at Title 18, right, if you're looking for... Well, it says here that, but at the San Bernardino shooting or the Orlando Pulse nightclub shooting, they were designated and charged as domestic terrorist incidents. They were, they were charged, I'd have to go back and look, they were charged likely with, uh, if there was a connection to a foreign terrorist organization, it would likely fall under 18 mm -hmm. USC 23... Uh, a or B. Doesn't it seem that because the perpetrator is that's not, Muslim, that's not correct. That, has nothing that to do, the that, designation would no. say it's a foreign organization? No, that's not correct. If you, that is not correct. Okay. Can you explain yeah. why? So, homegrown violent extremists who we, or most of the people we arrest in the United States, homegrown violent extremists, uh, self-radicalized, born in the U.S., it doesn't matter what religion. But the Orlando Pulse Club shooter meets those qualifications, and he is, you're implying. He was worked as an international terrorist because he was following under the definition. But he was how homegrown and home self-radicalized. Extremist cases, how we work homegrown by extremist cases under the global jihad, we worked it under international terrorism. That is correct. Uh, is white supremacy not a global issue? It is a global issue. So why are they not charged with foreign because the United terrorism. States Congress doesn't have a statute for us for domestic terrorism like we do on a foreign terrorist organization like ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Al-Shabaab. Could you see how this could create issues and discrepancies with how um, violent extremism by Muslim perpetrators could potentially, even if it's unintentional, but that there are, there are holes and there are, are gaps here, not through your fault or any one specific person's fault. It could be our fault as, as Congress. But could you see how one could see how the way that we are pursuing and charging white supremacy, particularly if they tend to be charged with hate crimes and, uh, and where that same type of violence committed by a, a Muslim extremist could be charged with domestic terrorism. Hate crimes and domestic terrorism are treated and charged, they're different crimes and they could be pursued differently with different resource allocations. Can you see how people would say that these are being treated differently? Predominantly, I would say I'd have to go back and look, most of them are not hate crime charges on the domestic terrorism side. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I will now...